Hello there, what is going on everybody? We are going to be unboxing the Black Series Force FX Elite Ahsoka Tano Force FX Elite Lightsaber. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you guys the box. Look at this box design. It is, it's got this Pentagon kind of inverted kind of diagonalized top. Diagonalized? Is that even a word? This thing is going to change. I guess to three different colors. It's got like the light green, dark green, and blue. That's incredible. Uh, we've got the Ahsoka Tano uh, picture up here. Now this, to me, it almost looks like this is a Ahsoka from Star Wars Rebels, but she's clearly ho holding her Clone Wars. Like this is like, like the season seven Clone Wars Ahsoka, I believe. And uh, so we're getting this. We also have uh, some Ahsoka lightsabers to compare this to as well, because I do have the Disney version of the Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars Rebels uh, lightsabers. So we can uh, certainly compare it to both of those. Now she normally wears these in pairs, but I think we're only getting one saber in here. So if you wanna pick up two of these, you certainly can. This is 250 bucks, however. So I don't know if this is something that you're gonna really wanna buy two of, unless you really plan on doing some heavy duty cosplay as Ahsoka Tano. We have our Kyber Crystal there. If you guys are new here to the channel, be sure to enter to win that giveaway for the $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Let me know what is your favorite lightsaber in all of Star Wars. Maybe you'll use that gift card towards a lightsaber. Uh, I would love to hear about it from you guys. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and we'll show you how it looks. All right, so here it is. Here is the Ahsoka Tano lightsaber. We have uh, kind of a uh, aluminum kind of finish around the edge. We have this kind of cut going up and down both the front and the back. Uh, we've kind of got our external little, uh, almost semi cross guard reminiscent pieces. We have our, uh, the, the, our, our, our butt stock here, or, and uh, we've got uh, like the little lightsaber, the holster clips here, although I don't think these will actually work for a belt clip because uh, they don't seem to come out far enough. Like usually you need like about a, a good one or two centimeters worth for the clip to actually grab. So I don't think these are gonna actually go on if you have an existing belt clip. Uh, I don't think they're gonna work for that. Um, one thing that uh, immediately jumps out to me is this thing is very light. Um, a lot of the uh, Black Series sabers, also the Disney sabers, a lot of the sabers now uh, are, are becoming a little heavier and heavier. This one feels very light to the touch. Uh, aluminum is a, a more of a lighter metal, and this is definitely aluminum. We, 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 I feel like this was not like polished at all. Like it came straight off of like a lathe or whatever, like a spin kind of cutter or whatever. And um, and and it's just it wasn't polished. Like I feel like they could have really made this look a lot better. You see, like the the, the all the little scrape marks and stuff in this up close. Um, that's just like, like it, I swear, I wish they would have just polished it a little more. It feels, it feels kind of cheap. Um, and, and, and what I mean by that too, is like in here, um, this whole section right here where you're going to, your hand is going to grab it, um, is not sanded down. It could have used just a very, very light sanding like on a grindstone or something because it's so, it's cut so sharply right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's sharp, like a knife's edge. Kind of sharp it's straight up going to cut the skin on my hands it is uh so if, if anybody is out there if you get a, if you get a look at one of these like hold it it feel like it feels like if you if you're swinging this around and you just you, you jerk your hand a little bit it's like gonna be like a cheese grater and it's gonna take some of the skin on your hand off uh it almost did when i took it out of the box and held it for the first time usually these are a lot smoother all the way around and this is really how i almost wow i just got a little bit on my thumb right there um well, didn't take anything off, but it left a left a little mark. But um, yeah, so this is really annoying. This is, and and all they would have had to dump like right up here, it's sanded a little bit. It's not so sharp right here. It just needs a light, light sanding. I mean, and I'm gonna have to do this myself because I don't want somebody coming over like like oh, can I see your lightsabers? And they take this and they cut themselves, and now I have to go get a band aid and they're bleeding all over my saber. So uh, that's really. Um, like, I don't know how this passed quality control. This is like, you can grate cheese on this. It's, it's that, it's that sharp. It's like a blade. Um, but aside of that, we got a couple of other things to look at. We have our stand here. This was in two pieces. This part goes on right here. Uh, we can set the blade up for display. That's kind of how I would recommend uh, a cheese grater uh, to have it up on display here. Uh, we have our Kyber crystal, which we can insert 
Uh, and this is one of the things you can put in if you don't want the blade on there. So if you're going to have it on display, uh, this will be able to go inside. And you're probably looking at this piece right here. Of course, we have our blade back here, which is kind of standard for a lot of those um, those polycarbonate kind of blades, that uh, the LED blades. But this right here is like a chuck key to stick in. And, and you have to basically, to get anything in there, you have to take this cap out. And that, this cap only has these two little grooves in there that these can go in and grip and spin it. And that's the only way you'll be able to loosen it or tighten it. So if you want to put this in here, you can put that in there and turn it. I know I've got, I caught some flack over my, um, let's see if that's gonna work. Is it gonna work? I might have to have this on top, I'm not sure. But um, I caught some flack over my uh, Darth Revan lightsaber because his did not, um, it did not work very well, and people said, well, it's because you didn't turn it. Well, I did, I just didn't turn it on camera. Oh, it's trying, it's trying. Um, one thing I really don't like about this saber uh, is not 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 just the, um, you know, the grooves and the sharp grooves. That's the, the first thing that I don't like. But there's another complaint that I have so far, and that is the power switch. Uh, I, I, I feel like um, this is maybe the worst power switch we've ever had. Because you're thinking, oh, this is it. So I, when I pulled it out of the box, I, I started pushing this button. I'm like, oh no, is this thing dead? Is it broken? It was already delayed an extra week in shipping. Um, I thought it got returned. I was wondering if they dropped it or broke it. The button, you can see it does not work. The battery compartment is down here. We're gonna, I already put batteries in here. Um, I, and so we've got that, I, I did that. No problem there. Pretty standard battery compartment as far as lightsabers are concerned. That goes in real nice. I like, I like the bottom part, um, but but this, this doesn't work. But this is not the this is not the power button. This is the effects button. The power button is actually here. But the problem is you can't push the power button. It's got this raised guard around it that I mean, I have I have big fingers. Look look at this. How are my fingers gonna get into that thing? All right? I have to like get something like I have to get like a thumbtack to turn it on. There we go. So I've got my, my, uh, so it starts out blue and you can cycle through green and then the kind of like the lime green also. So um, I'm gonna stick the blade in there. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, well, let me turn it off because you can, this doesn't really do much when there. And then we'll go through what the buttons do and then I'll uh, do a little demo and we'll also compare it to the other Ahsoka Sabres. There we go, it's off. All right, so now I've put the, the blade in there and I'll make sure not to cut my hands on this scissor edge. It look, it real, this literally feels like it's it's the edge of a, pair, a brand new pair of scissors, which is just insane. Um, see, if I kind of widge my finger in there a little bit, I can, there we go, I can do it. But, uh, but it's hard because you barely touch it and you have to hold it down to change colors. So we have that going on. Um, this button is gonna give us some effects. Let's see there. And, uh, and then this is gonna let us, oh, that's the slash. Oh, okay, so this got good slash marks, um, or slash effects. Um, but here, I'm gonna have to hold this in, and if you hold this, and this at the same time, whoop, wait, no, hold on. I gotta hold them both. There we go, now it's the bright green. This is like that, this is more of your standard Clone Wars fare. And then of course we can go kind of a little retro with the, like the yellow green. Am I holding them? I'm holding the buttons a little more. There we go. Not bad. It's, it's not that much of a change, right? Well, I guess the one problem is that it's the the exact same sound for all of it. You know, it's the same sound as every Force Effects lightsaber, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, the, the effects are still there. And then of course we go back to classic. Come on. And go back to blue for your season seven. Yeah. All right, let's take a, take a, a, a good look at it uh, from. I'll, I'll wave it around a little bit and show you some of the other effects. All right, so here we go. Um, again, if you if you've got this, you want to try and grip it from the bottom or or like hold it sideways. You don't want to grab this this central part here because it'll it'll definitely mess you up. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try and turn it on. It's, it's so hard to get on. All right, there we go. All right, we've got a good glow. 
And uh, our, our effects here, we've got, if we tap it, this is just tapping it once. And this is the deflection of a blaster bolt. So you go, you know, so it's good for role play, for things, reasons like that. And if we hold it, this is good if we're clashing with somebody else, or if we're trying to punch through uh, a, a, a armor or a door or something like that. We're trying to pull a Qui-Gon Jinn and go all the way around, all right? So if I'm, or if I'm trying to attack you, the viewer, I'm driving the blade straight through my computer into your computer across the internet. No, I wouldn't do such a thing. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, to, to make it change colors, we're going to hold this button and that button at the same time. And then a lot of times it turns off because it's so hard to get this power button pressed in all the way um, and hold it that, uh, yeah, so I have to actually use something. I'm gonna use a, a pin and hold that. There we go. All right, so we've got our green. There's not a whole lot of green lightsabers out there. The Kit Fisto one and the Jedi Luke one right now. So again, yeah, we got good. Uh, overall, it feels like like it, the effects are good. The sound is the same, and I just knocked over the Kyber crystal because I'm swinging around. Not really. The closed environments don't work that well for these. Um, other effects, other effects still work with the other color. All right, we're gonna try and get this pin again. Try and change colors one more time. And that's the light, comes with the yellow. It's kind of a nice lime green too. It's different than the regular Temple Guard yellow too. It's, uh, it's I, I like, maybe this is the best one I think, because it's the only one that's in this color too. So I like that a lot. I, may, I might leave it at this color. So I'm curious if I turn it off, will it turn back on into this color? I would love for it to stay green. It does! All right, cool. So I like that. Let's try it with the lights off. Let's do that. All right, it's darker now. Let's see. <laughs> Turning this thing on is annoying. There we go. Woo! Bright, baby. This is that This is that lime green. All right, and try some of the effects. See if we can change colors again and show you the other colors in the dark. That's the blue. Woo! It's pretty. It's pretty changing colors. And then the, the full green. That's really bright too. Okay. And we'll go back to the lime green, which is my personal favorite right now. Or that yellowish, the yellow green. So I like this one. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments. All right, so that's the Ahsoka Saber for Black Series Force FX Elite. Um, we also do have, if you happen to go to Disney or shop at Galaxy's Edge, they have uh, the uh, the Fulcrum Ahsoka uh, Sabers. These are the ones that we kind of would recognize from the movie. These are so much heavier. These are like what five pounds each or something like that. They're they're just crazy heavy. Um, maybe maybe three pounds each. I'm not sure, but whereas this one weighs like maybe a half a pound tops. Um, but de definitely this one fits in the hand like a little bit more naturally because it's slightly smaller, whereas these are more oblong and um, kind of uh, like flat on the side. So it's like a stretched circle. But again, the cheese grater scissor, scissor sides make that one just like uh, impossible to actually hold for long durations. Whereas this one, even though it's heavier and a little harder to fit in maybe small hands, I have large hands, so it's okay for me. Um, this one's going to work way, way better. Plus, actually, you can clip these on your belt. And this comes in a set of two, uh, but these are the white blades. And then this one has every other color. So if you're just looking for a variety of Ahsoka Sabres, this one's going to get you the most variety. You just got to be really careful with this side. And uh, if you have smaller fingers, then that'll work out probably easier for you than it did for me. All right, guys, that is the Black Series Ahsoka. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Uh, I'm a big fan of Star Wars Black Series stuff, but uh, some of these Force Effects Elites 
have been giving me little nitpicky problems, and this one was no exception to that. All right, I want to thank you all so much. Check out the links in the description below. We've got a Discord that's very family-friendly. You can jump in and talk to about Star Wars or tabletop gaming. Follow me on TikTok. I'll be probably doing some lightsaber videos on TikTok soon. I'm going to try and start doing some of that. Uh, also on uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, also big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I couldn't do this without you. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. And as always, have a great day.